You know, the latest Ask Me Anything event was actually really solid. And I will cover all of the questions asked. I'm basically waiting for the developers to to post uh, all of the questions and answers so that I can, you know, spend some time thinking on them. But for the most part, I would say it's a pretty interesting, it was a pretty interesting uh, Ask Me Anything session. I would say the answers were surprisingly good and it kind of does bring me hope and it does kind of show that they have been listening and I, I guess uh, I, I jokingly said a couple days ago being polite is paying off well I guess it does pay off in one way because some of the questions that they answered kind of have a let's say they used to be different uh, some time ago, but in any case, I'll be covering those uh, those questions when when they. I think they'll post them tomorrow or or in a couple days. But I'll be I'll definitely make sure to to cover them because there there are some. I mean, let's say that the the, the tech free ships, the tech free cruisers, for example, is something that's you know on my okay. list that i really want to try out in this game but in any case in any case uh, let's uh, go out and let's blow up some ships now today we've had a bunch of rattle sticks and that's basically the inspiration for the title for today rattlesnake party well first target for today will be a rattlesnake so let's so warm up and Warp drive active. let's see how lucky or unlucky i'll get today and of course besides the makari i'll be flying the, the other ships but you know just for a warm up as i usually do let's engage something big and in this case it would be a rattlesnake now my warping isn't the best I have scrammers, three of them, as I usually do. If I had long range disruptors, if I had a death wish and a core for the Makari, I'll be using I, I would be using the long range points, but you know, I don't have those, so I have to use the close range scrammers in order to defeat the the stabs if they do have stabs. Now so this of this house is surprisingly not that tanky. I have a Balagorn for Rattlesnakes, I feel like a Balagorn is definitely much more suitable for it. But I don't really use that ship because I haven't really figured out what attack. kind of medium slot layout I would like to see on it. So I just We're use the, the good old Makari and surprisingly now that Rattlesnake did seem like they had a passive shield tank build, I think it might actually be a passive shield tank build. We will find that out very well very soon. My shield is getting oh that's fine. This is a armor tank Macario, so taking shield damage is just part of the fun. And time to pop the damage control, the Ralsic is in hold. This, I feel like something this something had more DPS before. They're not the first time I encountered this pallet. Well, I got the expensive drone, so I'm not going to complain much about that. Let me warp off. I got the expensive drone, that's what matters. That was a good loot drop. Well, I mean, warp drive good. Active. could have been better. You will see what I'm talking about later on. But a faction battleship kill is a faction battleship kill, so I am obviously not going to complain about that because it was still a decent catch. Now I'm changing warping because this position is not that good. Now I like to have some distance between active. the the belt and the station. It does work really well in some specific moments 
Okay, let me align myself towards the general direction of the station. Let's take a look at the kill. 4.2 billion. Well, it did, did look like a passive tank because it is a passive tank. And they had two stabs. Thankfully, I brought a lot of points, but that was a good catch. That was definitely a good catch. Let's go to... Oh, let's, let me first screenshot that little... I'm doing... Uh, I'm kind of comparing the loot drops before and after. Try to figure out if there is a difference. In any case, let's go to the next threat and you will be surprised, but it's the same Nalsec as before. Although this time they have a different different drone. They have Docking a offense drone and a without, bar without a barrage implant. That would have been awkward. Still has enough DPS to break the Nalsec, but you know. Would be funny if I went and fought the Ralsing with the missile implant on Makario. That would have definitely been kind of... It, it actually happened in the past multiple times where I yeeted and I forget active. to change the implant and then I was wondering, where is my DPS? Oh, well I'm missing an implant, okay. Happened in the past. So I'm always trying to double track to see if I didn't mess anything up. Approach at 11 kilometers, and let's see. Well, they have been at zero. There's the offense and assault drone. I really hope that the offense drone drops. Kind of, I kind of like how I'm already imagining the scenario before I even kill the ship, <laughs> because this is the routine basically every day. Uh, new ships, new targets and I already imagined them being destroyed <laughs> and loading the wreck. Yeah, there's, you can definitely notice a big difference in how much damage they took. Now their, their shield definitely went down much faster than, than before. And this time... Actually, I messed up the... I think I... Yeah, I think this was actually the first encounter and the first clip was the second encounter. So I kind of messed up the timeline with the with the kills but in any case a kill is a kill Th the timeline doesn't really matter but you could definitely notice a difference in the amount of damage they took and the offense drone dropped nice all right let's uh, work out now the offense drones can be quite expensive the ogres I, I believe are the most expensive ones but i think the ones that drop now should be decently valued on the market as well, so maybe we're looking at about roughly 2 billion in loot from the Dalsnik in both, like in the first encounter and in the second encounter, both encounters combined, I, I think it's like 2 billion, so I, I would say that's a pretty good catch. Obviously, it could have been better, but I am. Um, I don't like to complain, you know. Well, I, I guess this belt will have to do. Let me align myself and let me take a look at the kill. 4.4 billion rapid missiles. Or a warp stabilizer, okay. And one warp core stab. Hmm. Well, there's definitely a change in the builds that they've had. And 947 million ISK is the rough estimate. I would say that pretty good. Usually the estimates are a bit, sometimes a bit lower, sometimes you know a bit higher than, than what's shown. In this case, I think the estimate is a bit lower because I remember looking at the drone being 1.2 billion or 1.1 billion on the market. So I think I made a decent, a decent ISK. I made this nice with those two kills. Well, let's warp to the next Ralsing. I, I wasn't joking when I said that we have a Ralsing party. Warp drive At the time of me recording this, uh, I didn't even notice uh, that I've had an afterburner. A little fun fact, I did not even 
tamper with the ship much. I never put a afterburner in it. And that's going to make a big, you know, that's going to be a big important thing for this little encounter because I don't really know how the afterburner made its way into the ship, but it did. And I mean, you just watch what happens, it's, it's funny. Now, the Rasek was at 100 kilometers. Well, now I remember, I actually, yeah, I was testing out speed and I wanted to actually try the, the afterburn my Kyle well, obviously it didn't turn well, didn't end up well because the Rasek was at 100 kilometers and they did not seem like they were moving, they had those sentry drones out, but, but, as always, by the time I land they moved and yeah, no longer at 100 kilometers. More like at 19, which is not that, you know, not much of a mistake. If I had a micro warp drive, I would have, I would have burned to it quite quickly. But I messed up with the module there, and yeah. Now they immediately aligned to the station. Uh, there is obviously very little chance for me to, to catch them because afterburn on a Macario. And honestly, the Makado isn't slow with an afterburner, it's just not a speed build. This build works good with a micro war rift, doesn't work well with an afterburner. Could have yeah, worked if I had different rig setup, but obviously I haven't changed the rigs on this Warp thing for like 3-4 years now, so I'm keeping the old rigs on this thing. Well, let's go to the next target. I said to one of my friends today that I'm like the the only blackbird pilot out there because you really don't see a lot of blackbirds floating around and it's a little sad because th these little ships are, are so fun and we will see how the developers will change the overall ship tech tree because they did say to, to have a wish to overall, overall reduce the number of ships in the game and basically make all ships more usable which is something I support because you know Having all the ships usable means, hey, are we going to get usable tier 2, tier 3, tier 4 ships? In that case, I'm all in. But uh, Blackbird is actually a very fun little ship, so I really start to have a lot of fun with it. Low tier ships are ridiculously fun, and we have a Caracal Navy. I said before that I was just waiting for a moment where I can use this thing for, on a Caracal Navy, and I got the chance to do so. Now, the Blackbird does have a bonus on the Guidance Disruptors, which disrupts the overall parameters and performance of missiles. I have two of them, and one long range point on one disruptor. So, and those missiles on that Caracal are pretty much ruined by, by my tracking disruptors here. Well, yeah, tracking disruptors on a Blackbird. Guide and disruptors. My apologies, this is a little mistake. And the Caracal, well, even if they do end up shooting at me, they will not be able to do any damage because those missiles are definitely not having a good day there. And the Caracal is a hybrid tank, unfortunately, so yeah. Don't really expect much from that build, but it, it's still very fun to just do something like this with a blackbird because these ships are not really well utilized, which is very unfortunate because they are really good ships. And we are under attack. they're really fun. Now uh, you will see something very funny happen here. Uh, this is not my first uh, low tier clip for today, this is actually the, one of the, I think the last ones I recorded today, I, I forgot, but active. before this, the, the next one I think will be a Arbivorous Mallet, now, for some reason, my ships sometimes don't really res re like respond to commands, and I, that's why I change like the orbit like 15 times sometimes, because the ship always doesn't listen, and does always go to the wrong orbit, and that's what, what's going to happen with one of the next encounter that I had. 70 million isk hybrid tank, uh, all the expensive, no lie. 
this blackbird costs about 35 munis so yeah it's relatively cheap it has green modules and a alpha clone can fly this ship basically so this is a very 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 cheap little boat to, to and onto the clip Undocking. that I was talking about so I'm in an RB the target will be a mother now I changed like the orbit like million times and this ship can maintain a 10 kilometer stable 10 kilometer orbit around any ship with the micro warper fully active full speed basically so there is no way that it's inertia <laughs> because the orbits at 10 kilometers full speed without a problem but something did happen and and it did mess up my my plans it, it did uh, this made me really angry because it's not the first time it happens and i always expect this to happen and i always take precaution to avoid this happening but it always happens no matter what i do so this is the first time i immediately like i just knew that it would do that so i just went on a little manual orbit correction and then i decided to go and uh, keep it 21 kilometer orbit but the ship doesn't go to 21 kilometers and it goes to 26 and the mother doesn't have i think the mother didn't have an afterburner the mother was sitting still basically so yeah this is like the reason why i'm never going to be using auto orbit ever again because i just don't trust it anymore like, i can do a combination between like manual and an auto orbit but this little Warp encounter, even though it doesn't seem that that bad, uh, it made me quite angry because the ship didn't re didn't listen. So, I feel like I'm going to go full manual orbit from this point on in the next video and just completely forget that auto orbit exists. In any case, uh, let me align myself to the station, and well, that was an epic fail. That was definitely a epic fail, but it was a mother, so not not a big loss, but still, I enjoy a RB versus mother a lot more than I enjoy a rattlesnake versus a Macario, for example. It's just way more fun. So let's go to the next target. I am flying a Stratus, which means we have a battle cruiser. Warp drive active. Usually a long range sniping battle cruiser where a clock is Stratus tackle is actually very important. Because there is no better tackle cruiser than a Stratus. Maybe the Ortus, we can like... Uh, I guess the Ortus is the better tackle overall because, you know, it has both of Skyrimus, but the Stratus is stealthy, and your 25 points on Ortus can kind of be useless if the target is aligned. So it's a very fun little comparison because both ships are actually very good at tackling. The Ortus just has much better tackle ability because it has strength on, on the points and range, and the Stratus has a stealth. So both can do the job really well but there is the oracle so they are from okay they are from the station i'll change my warp in it looks like a hundred kilometers so warp, warp drive about active. 100 close to 100 kilometers should be close enough and this is why i like the stratus it's a very sneaky little ship very little very Sneaky little killing machine, and the Astor can do the same thing with frigates. I just like the Stratus a lot more because it, it it has more DPS to it. Now, why do I have that feeling that someone is about to scare that Oracle? My sixth sense is telling me that. Someone is about to scan and give the oracle a scanning ping and they will warp off us. 
Okay, that's pretty good warping. Fairly close. You... Oh, you a little... I knew this was about to happen. I just... I just knew that was about to happen. They had to scan, of course. This doesn't surprise me, though. My sixth sense is... Like... My sixth sense is always on spot. And, well, I, I guess... I mean, they haven't seen me, so I guess that's one thing going on for me at the moment. I can sit here and wait for the Oracle to come back, if they come back, of course. Usually, usually ships that get the scanning ping don't come back, so the most important thing is not to give the scanning ping, because then you ruin the, you know, you ruin the chances of catching any ship, but it, some time has passed, and now I am uh, going back. They are back in the mission. Drive active. As per fleet chat there, so... Time to see if I get lucky this time. If they're aligned, not a big deal. I can tackle a aligned ship just fine in most cases. Okay, there is the Oracle. Seems aligned, this is a perfect warp in there, they, they are definitely aligned, okay. And they have the illusionary ghost nanocore. Lovely. Let's orbit, let's... They actually stopped their ship, they aligned and stopped their ship, that's a mistake. You should never stop your ship if you're aligned, obviously. Boy. Oh well, they have been scrambled, webbed, and I am orbiting at zero. And the Oracle is in hole. And Oracle destroyed. Oh well. I guess eventually, in the end, I managed to snatch the kill there. Usually, I mean, as, as I mentioned before, usually they don't, uh, you know, stay. They warp off. And they usually cancel the mission when they get the scanning thing. I guess this one was different. Warp That's what I'm active. saying, you never really know what to expect from from the from the ship. Also I I love how three AM became four AM in a second. Lovely. 428 million isk. Well, an e illusionary ghost. No stabs, that's actually surprising. I expected stabs on that trip. Oh well, let's go to the next target and we have we have a hurricane. Oh okay. Well I am sending my Tarol Prophecy Guardian. I seriously like this ship. I am going to do a lot of fun things with drones, active. hopefully, starting next week. I have plans for them. And I really started to like drone boats. It is funny, I, I made a full circle, really. I started with drone boats, and well, I'm back to drone boats now. So, yeah. Very nice little journey there, there's the hurricane, just, oh that's beautiful, just in the scramble range, nice. Now I'm full trunk build, full tank build, no bombard on, on this guardian, just full tank, full armor tank. Orbiting at zero and let's go orbit at zero. I don't have much DPS, that's fine, the hurricane probably has much more DPS than I do at the moment, but I have yeah, tanked. This thing is as tanky as a dollar ship. And I seriously, seriously like the fact that this thing is a brick. I'm also just ramming them, just in case they attempt to warp out. Yeah, they're definitely trying to warp out, but I'm not going to let them warp out.
The prophecy is such a very nice ship. They're still trying to warp off, but I'm not going to let them warp off that easy. That is in the case that they have stabs, which you know, we have seen a bunch of ships today with stabs. So you never really know what to expect, but that was a good kill. Now let's take a look at the loot. So I did get some C types, and of course some green modules as well. I mean, in the end. Loot is just extra. I'm, I'm here for the fun. I'm honestly just here to have fun. That's the point of games, to have fun. And so far, I have to admit, I've had a blast today. We <laughs> did some good kills. But one thing that they changed, uh, you can no longer, I mean, that, that's all the change actually, but I usually forget that. You know, you cannot work with the armor link module it gives you 100 points basically it's, they, they made the, tra the change like a year ago i think but i never really used any armor link module that often so so always a surprise when i look at it next we have wait a, hold a second what am i doing here well, what am I doing here? Oh, okay. Let's uh, go to the belt. 2014 million ESC. Well, not a cursed build, a cheap build. Did look like an Alpha Clone build because it's Mark 7. Actually, King. What was the rank of the Hurricane? 7 or 8? I think it was like, like rank tier 8, but I can't really. Seven, 7 or 8 I think, so could have been a Alpha Clone there. Which is interesting. A Alpha Clone Dalakuzer. Hmm. Interesting. I like it. And I will... I will dock this thing because... Warp drive because active. that's what I usually do. Time to find out if they change anything on the... on the timer thing regarding docking with criminal time. We can actually do this. Well, we used to be able to do this. We're about to find out if it's changed. And the moment of truth. Am I going to get eaten? No, I'm not. Docking okay, so you accepted. can still dock with timer just fine. Honestly, this is one of the things that is Fun risky. Docking. But can save your ship, so practice on time and use it while it works. Let's go and... oh, we have an oracle, okay. And I am in a cells. Warp drive active. Now I kind of messed up my builds on both of my cells cruisers. Uh, one is kite, one is brawl, and now I, I kind of it changed the builds. Now the, the brawl is the kite and the, the kite is the brawl. Which is a very big, it's a very big mistake because they're not built to, to do those. Uh, the, the kite should be a kite, the brawl should be a brawl. Well, I messed up that. But I didn't notice that until I uh, looked at the speed that I was moving at. This thing has some really stupid speed going on for it. The cells has received a buff, by the way. It no longer has the penalty the speed penalty on uh, with the battle mode so you can go full speed while having 9000 dps in my case here with this thing isn't that just lovely they made the cells even more lethal well technically the level of lethalness from that thing of this thing is still the same Warp but you know, it's still it's now retaining the speed at it, it, which is going so and this is, by the way, not the final, like, not the fastest it can go. It can go 5 km per second if with, if with a different build. So the Celos is probably one of the faster factional cruisers in the game at the moment.
I think I'll just dock active. because I don't trust the build from this thing. I realized that after I killed the ship. Isn't that just funny? This is the reason why I don't really like to change the builds on my ships nowadays because when I do change them, I tend to sometimes, you know, Docking request forget accepted. it. There's a reason why they're built in, in the way I build them and usually doesn't work with uh, the different builds that I have here. 250 million is not bad. A cheaper Oracle build, not bad. Let's go to the next Undocking. target. And let's see what do we have here. Oh, now I'm uh, yeah, now I'm flying the the brawl cells, but with a kite long range build. I completely messed up the builds on these two ships. The kite became a brawler ship. The brawler ship became a kite. Isn't that just convenient? And that's not a good thing that I'm saying because they're not designed to do these roles. The kite should be a kite. The brawl should be a brawl. But Warp drive active. yeah, I realized that way too late. Thankfully, nothing wrong happened with the ship. Nothing bad happened with the ship. And. By the time I finish recording this, I'll probably revert back to the old... Oh, that's... yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to catch that Drake. They're way too far off. That's a very fast Drake. When I scouted, they were close to zero. A minute later and they were very far away. That's, an, or that's a Drake with a micro rod red for sure. A fast one. Oh well, you win some, you lose some, it's fine, we had some pretty good kills today, so I'm not really that mad at, at missing a Drake in any case. Was well, definitely a nice little attempt. I will, I will do a Warp little log-off trap, I'll attempt to do a log-off trap at least, to see, if, to see if maybe they come back and maybe. I mean, you never know what can happen, right? But I also change my warping to make a proper log of trap. They have nerfed the log of traps a while ago. Now you can't log off with the combat timer on, which is something that you were able to do before, not anymore. And I'll just sit here and wait for a, for a little while. Maybe they return, maybe not. I can shoot the ships in the meantime and hopefully the day comes back within the optimum I mean if they land at zero I'm still able to just you know catch them and after I attempted a log of trap the I think the Drake did not return which is fine the smarter thing to do is not to return so that's how you should do it yeah the Drake did not return uh, okay. Well, I will dock and maybe take my Stratius. Well, I took the Aster because there is something funny that I saw a magnet and it was in open space. They are running a. I think this is a rift. Well, in any case. This is why I have a scrammer on my Astra. There we go. Cots and destroys. Nice. Let's take a look at the wreck. Well, they looted the stuff for me, so that's nice. Well, since I'm already here, let me check out those wrecks. Uh, those, uh, not wrecks, those boxes. Although I, I think the magnet already looted everything, but you know, just in case if I... If they missed anything, this is why I, I like the the rift the, the rift side because sometimes there spawns in your system, right? And the player that comes to run them, run it, can be killed, can be scanned down. But yeah, these were empty. Well, that's fine. I guess 
the magnet did loot everything and let's take a look at the 340 million magnet kill that's actually not bad not bad for a very cheap little transport frigate oh well uh, with that being said that was a very little that was a very nice little run for trade some pretty nice kills and overall I, I would th I think it was pretty fun but with that being said hope you guys enjoyed if you would like to support me feel free to like and subscribe and with that being said stay safe play safe and as always i'll see you next time